I'm Dr. Ed Hewlett, and I serve as Professor and Associate Dean for Equity, Diversity, and Inclusion at the UCLA School of Dentistry. The value of diversity is the subject of an enormous body of scholarly work, which demonstrates this. An institution, being it in academics or industry, cannot attain its full excellence potential without diversity. And diversity isn't just about gender or race, it's about diversity of background and mindset. A diverse learning community is an opportunity to experience greater breadth and depth of learning. Learning different ways of thinking, of problem solving, and of navigating this world from others whose mindset is informed by an entirely different life experience than ours. It is an opportunity to better understand those who are different from us and in the process to be better understood as well. It's an opportunity to be challenged, to get out of our comfort zones and develop new sensibilities and learn how to think outside the constraints of our own biases. Is this not essential to becoming the best health providers we can be? Is it not our responsibility? But diversity alone is not enough. It's been said that diversity is an action, inclusivity is cultural, and belonging is a feeling. Our admissions process at UCLA reflects our intent to assemble a richly diverse class each year and we work hard to create an inclusive culture in which each student experiences that feeling of belonging and thrives. Thank you for listening. Hello, I'm George Taylor. I'm a professor and the Associate Dean for Diversity and Inclusion at University of California, San Francisco School of Dentistry. Diversity and Inclusion provides for a rich educational experience. The richness of such an experience substantially contributes to a solid foundation to graduate dentists who are equipped to provide culturally humble oral health care to diverse patient populations. Such an experience also contributes to increasing our profession's capacity to address limitations in access to oral health care for vulnerable populations and the increasingly greater diversity of populations in our country. Our admissions process uses a holistic review process to assess the applicant's life experiences, potential, and commitment to contribute in unique ways to their class. Also to contribute to our School of Dentistry's community and beyond. For representation in our faculty, we are placing a strongly emphasis to increase the pool of underrepresented minority faculty applicants and increased attention to awareness of unconscious bias in recruiting, interviewing and hiring faculty from underrepresented groups. An example of ensuring necessary education is the introduction of content on diversity related topics into all four years of our pre-doctoral curriculum. We have also embraced our UCSF campus-wide anti-racism initiative by a commitment to introduce in our curriculum content and andragogy relevant to this important initiative as well as training on updated policies, procedures, and practice regarding inclusive behaviors. Going forward, our goal is further enhancement of our culture and climate to assure it is exemplary in the way it reflects support for diversity, inclusion, equity, and belonging for all members of our School of Dentistry's community. We strive for UCSF School of Dentistry to be a destination place for students, faculty, and staff to learn, work, serve, and grow by being in a supportive environment where everyone can express their genuine selves and patients feel as though they could not have received better care anywhere. Thank you for this opportunity for me to share some of our activities, efforts, and commitments um, within the space of diversity, equity, and inclusion. Thank you so much to Dr. Taylor and Dr. Hewlett for speaking with us today. So you may be wondering now, where do we go from here? What does it mean to be informed about and involved in politics and why does it all matter? Sometimes it feels overwhelming to hear everything that's going on in the news. 
and sometimes it feels like our opinions don't matter. But they do. Every person who shares their views is making a difference, whether they do it by voting, or talking with someone, or donating to a cause, or volunteering for a campaign. At the end of the day, advocacy is about standing up for things that foster health and opportunity for us all. That is how we make health more inclusive. After all, inclusivity is the foundation of all things advocacy. I know some of these policies may sound technical or obscure, but it all comes back to one thing, and that's bringing quality care to people who need it the most. Whether we're encouraging water fluoridation in underserved communities, or reforming licensure exams to be more safe and humane, advocacy at the end of the day is about serving people. 2020 has been a difficult year. In particular, the pandemic and the ongoing struggle for racial justice haven't been isolated events, but rather signs of much broader and longer lasting issues that we need to address. By helping make dentistry more inclusive and by serving more diverse communities, we can do our part to take on these challenges. A lot of this progress can be made in groups close to us. We've come a long way since the 1960s when the ADA was not accepting black dentists. So there's still a lot of progress to be made. Just like last year, for instance, students like you pushed ASDA to revise its charter and acknowledge different forms of gender expression as an integral part of its diversity and inclusivity initiatives. Much like dental students, advocacy never sleeps. Think about what cause matters to you and what you will do to support it. So what's coming up? Through Advocacy Week, we will have afternoon talks where you can learn about how to get involved in your community as a student, a dentist, and beyond. We sure hope you're registered to vote. During this last week, take every chance you can to talk to people about what's really at stake during this upcoming election. Also remember that we have our ongoing advocacy raffle to get as many of you involved and expressing your opinions as possible. Stay tuned for more information. Sign up for notifications and newsletters and follow us for announcements. Have a great week, everyone, and let's get out there and make a difference. And go vote!